this year I turned 38 and realized that my chances of playing professional football were probably starting to come to an end. So after much persuasion, I've talked Gavin Hunt, award-winning football coach and the man at the helm of Vitz, to give me a trial to see if I can make it into the ABSA Premier League. I'm not the only one getting a trial today. I brought along with me a young, lithe, athletic goalkeeper who could be the most exciting talent in the country. Hey Chris, uh, I played at UCT for Dippers United, a very unsuccessful university team, but I think this could be my big break. What's your football pedigree? Well, I, uh, I was most improved player of the season, Marks Parkhurst. Uh, third team, 97-98, so... Uh, that's, that's not to be laughed at. Yeah, I've got the trophy. Yeah, you look like a goalkeeper, you're built like a goalkeeper, sort of cat-like is what mm, I see when, mm. I, when I look at you. A lot of people do call me the cat. Well, they use a different word for cat, but... <laughs> Muneeb Josephs, he's the man uh, with the gloves at the moment at Vitz. Do you think you can...? <laughs> Easy. I've seen him. I've seen him play. It's all been downhill since uh, since the Uruguay game in 2010. Uh, Sheppy, uh, between us, we've got one of the best left feet in the country. Mm. Uh, I'm trying to mirror yours. Uh, the, uh, the thought process, what am I doing when I'm trying to hit this as well as I can? Okay, first thing what we're going to do is when you look up, we're going to hit the target. So, <laughs> so what we're going to do is obviously in your run-up, make sure that you've taken enough steps back. You don't want to be too close to the ball. And then obviously get your planting foot as, cl as close to the ball as possible and then put it in the corner. Pick your spot. All right. Top left corner? Yeah, top left corner sounds good, eh? Anywhere near that, you've done well. All right. Yeah? All you need to do, Chris, is pick a corner, run to that corner, and throw yourself up in there. If the ball hits you, it's a great serve. People will say, what a save. Just as long as the ball hits you. That shows he's close. I was worried for a while that he was running with a soccer ball under his shirt. Says, I'm the new Dylan Shepherd. Let's see how we go. Cool. You passed that quickly, eh? You're a bit nervous. <laughs> so, what's happening at the moment is the opposition are tag teaming me. They've got three people marking me at the moment, but it makes lots of space for everyone else. Well done, Dan. Dan, make a yard, Dan. Make a yard. <laughs> find, find the space. With your girth, you're going to need a lot of it. You should fit in the centre circle. Here we go. Ah, first touch. There we go. Good touch. Why is he giving the ball away? Oh, The best position with Dan is on the sidelines with his cushion watching the game. Um, every footballer should be doing three things, and that is uh, creating goals, scoring goals, or stopping goals, and he does none of them. I think I really made the difference there, uh, sowing utter confusion into the ranks of the opposition. And I've got to say, Chris Forrest with one very, very minor slip-up, probably the, the single best South African goalkeeping performance I've ever seen. It's time for a team photo for the Victoria side. <coughs> well, it's super sub here, Dan Nickel made all the difference. When he came on, the scores were tightly locked at one, one apiece, and I believe it ended up on 8-3. So well done, Dan. He intimidated him with that one shot. He blasted it straight at the goalkeeper. Obviously, the keeper was rattled. It's a brilliant piece of keeping. It was, but I mean, that's, I think he, he might have broken a rib there or something. Probably. And, uh, but and that's it's, what made the difference. It's something you're going to see a lot more of in professional football, static movement, where it looks like you're standing around doing nothing, but you're actually having a key role in the development of the strategy of the game. It's all about, did you see how he read the game? Huh? Yeah. Magic, the ball would come to him. See, even now. Guys, the end of a wonderful session. I, I think the jury's still out as to whether Gavin's going to sign myself and Chris, uh, possibly just Champions League players for next season. Uh, but what's in no doubt <laughs> is this is an awesome team of footballers, and it's been a real honour to spend the morning with Vitz. Thanks, guys. Look forward to you winning the league. <laughs>
nominee, one of South Africa's greatest ever goalkeepers, many caps for Bafana, played in the Premier League for actually close on 20 years now. You've seen Chris Forrest in goal. What are your thoughts on this exciting young talent? I said it about 10 years ago that we have a great line of future, of the great future for our goalkeepers in this country. And as you can see, as young as Chris is, he's one of those next generation goalkeepers, although the older generation, but yeah for the future. What do you think his key attribute is? Definitely the way he dresses, you know, that's, that, 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 that gives that illusion of, you know, I'm not interested, I'm not a goalkeeper, I'm just here to hang around, but then he pulls off saves, I'm sure you guys caught it, you know, and that's the new style of goalkeepers, you know, first it was the goalkeeper's dressed all properly, now it's just the goalkeeper that tells you, I don't give a damn, you know, what and pulls out miracle saves there. So this is a reunion of sorts because one of my very first jobs was doing the stadium announcing at Ajax Cape Town when the club started oh, just over a decade ago and uh, between myself and the team we represented the majority of the people in the stadium for those games. <laughs> those, uh, those were good days, Sheppy. Um, yeah, I know, we had a good time there, you know, we were able to take a f the family there, had a, had a, it was a really, really different experience but um, yeah, I met up with uh, South Africans there which made it laugh a lot easier. Honest opinion, coach, you think we've got what it takes? I just said to them earlier, I think, guys, uh, stick to your day jobs. So you're thinking about it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a chance then? Yeah, a chance in hell, yes. <laughs> well, so Toyando it is. Yes, it is. <laughs>